Alright everyone, what's going on? Minecraft Meteor here and welcome to my first Omni Wing modification video. So <clears throat> basically what an Omni Wing is a a flying paper wing. I think um the original creator um I think his name is Mina Mina Mike TRX on YouTube named this the Omni Wing. So the original design goes to uh, Mina Mike on YouTube. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to his channel. He makes great airplane designs, and also he makes Proto Omni Wings, which is a little bit easier than making these. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, today we're gonna modify it to look like an A350 wing. This is gonna be the simple version. The I'm gonna make an intermediate version a and an advanced version <coughs> so let's get right into it you'll need all oh, this paper's ruined hang on uh, do I have more paper? no okay, let's use this paper anyway so what you need is a piece of paper, it's, it can be an A4 or a letter, printed paper, uh, either one's fine. <coughs> oh, yes, I'm sick again. And <coughs> oh my god. Gonna need a piece of cardboard, these are um, 200 GSM, I don't know what that stands for. Um, let me show you what kind of cardboard they are, let me get my drawing book. See that? Yes, yeah, from these. But you can use any cardboard paper you want. I just use this because, well, because I have it. <laughs> We're gonna need tape. You, any clear tape is fine, but I use uh. This Scotch Magic tape because uh, it's gonna be a little bit better than other tapes. So yeah, tape. A uh, pencil or a pen. We're gonna use it to mark lines in our paper. And a scissor. <coughs> okay, let's get started. Also got your gonna need a ruler and a where is it and a protractor. Yep. <clears throat> so first, what you want to do? Fold the paper now. And yes, my voice is killing me. Killing me. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Fold it in half. Try to be as precise and accurate as possible. Then pull it the other way so you can see a line more clearly. I've wow, just damaged my paper right there. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh oh, come on, come to Papa. Okay. Um, trying to fold this end to the center, but not completely, you want to um, pull it to here, you don't want to crease it down, you want to make a small pinch on it, like so, and then just mark it, I'm sure if you can see that, yeah, and basically do it, uh, here, here, yeah, and here. So I'm gonna do all of that right now. Pinch. And then just trying to find that. Take a mark. Pencil. The 
other side. Mark with the pencil. Okay, I'm gonna cut up. <laughs> ruler and join the dots on each side or the line like that or if you have a straight hand you could just do it with your hand like so so this is what it should look like now Okay, I'm trying to fold this to this. I know it makes perfect sense. <laughs> so it's like pretty much like this. Hang on, let me just do it for you. So just like that, and make sure this part right here is straight with the line, like so. Do the same with the other side. So, now what you'll need is a protractor, you're gonna take the middle of, protract of the protractor and place it um, at the center front here, so like that, at right at the edge, so about there. Then um, you're gonna mark uh, where do we mark again? It's 50, I think. Yeah, so it's mark 130 if you're reading it on the outside one. 130. Take your ruler, draw a line from the middle front to the dot that we just made. And draw it throughout the whole wing. Oh crap. There we go. Eh. And of course I messed it up. But you guys are more perfect. You guys will be able to do it better. Like so. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Actually, keep your ruler there and. straight. Now take your hand and fold it up like this. I just rub it a few times. That's what she said. See what they say? <laughs> but now you want to properly fold it and make a crease. Now you want to Flip it, um, what you call this, I guess, um, fold it in half, and instead of drawing a line on the other side, we could just <clears throat> fold this down. And also, it's very important to make sure this follows, follows uh, the fold, because sometimes it can be like this, and then you could fold it, and you'd end up having a wing that's that has a different center of gravity so it's very important so keep that right there so it doesn't slip out what we can also do is just use the ruler to make sure damn it okay <laughs> just make sure it matches the other side like so okay ah. open it um, take a ruler and draw a line from this flap right here to this one. Just like so. So we have something that looks like this now. And then fold the nose down. Like so. Now Take your protractor again, 
put it on the front edge again. You can mark that if you want. And this time it's going to be 125. How do I know? Um, at the Airbus, if you go to the Airbus website, they have downloadable AutoCAD files that you can open and look at the brief designs. So of course, they're not going to show you the complete design, or else Boeing's are going to take it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Boeing fans. Um, so, yeah, make, make a line from the front to the dot again, and then just do the same. Um, <laughs> uh, yep. Yep, that's good. So, fold it. And do the same with the other side. You know, just try to match it. But no, it's just brief design. They're not gonna make people be able to download their design that their engineers have worked for like four, six years. Definitely not for free. So my camera ran out of memory there, and uh, <clears throat> I forgot to tell you a step. To tell you a step, I mean, uh, you're gonna when you open up this thing is kind of not gonna let you be able to fold like this so what you're gonna do is take your pencil and shove it um, until the paper gives up <coughs> so yeah <coughs> massive ex excuse me um, now fold it in half we're gonna make a, a line to cut now so from the nose it's gonna be 9.5 centimeters like that take your protractor put it on that point make sure it's parallel to the this line and then work the 90 degree and then draw 4.5 centimeter line up uh, 90 degree but not all the way to the point because um, obviously my protractor from here to here is bigger than nine, uh, 4.5 centimeters so just draw 4.5 centimeters and I screwed up a little bit right there and then here from here to here is going to be 3.3 or 3.2 centimeters. Doesn't have to be that exact. Then just make a line. Now, if you look closely in on Airbus the A350's wing, you can you're going to see that it's not an immediate angle difference. It's going to be curved. So we draw a little curve right there. Let you see that. Yep. Guess that's why Qatar calls it ahead of the curve. <laughs> Again, that thing's not gonna let you unfold. <laughs> now, get your tape, pull it as long as this flap. Like that. Looks good. there like so now the trick here is not just like boom it's not like that we're gonna push down here and then start um, twisting the wing why well it's gonna act like an up a downward uh, movement on an elevator because if you don't uh, use use the twist it's Wait, no, actually it's an upward word motion. So it's kind of like an elevator. When you when you pull on the stick, the elevator um, goes up, right? 
then the aircraft nose starts lifting up. Same here. If you don't do, do that twist, then the aircraft is going to fly down. How do I know that? Well, found out the hard way. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to twist it. So it's going to be like an upward ele elevator on a wing. So, take the front here, put it there, then twist as you go out. You won't get this first try, but if you do, then good job. It's pretty hard to do. So yeah, it's a little bit too little twist there, but the winglet's probably gonna compensate for that. Just like that. And basically just do the same on the other side. Make sure to twist. I know why I keep saying that. Like so. And start the twist here. That's a little bit too more, too much than the other side. But I'm oh well. That's a little bit too much. The aircraft are gonna start flying left. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit too much. <coughs> But we can compensate that by just rubbing on the wing. <laughs> um, yeah, so now just pull it in half and start cutting the line. Make sure to cut the curve as well. Make sure they're the same. And when you open it up, voila, you've got it. An airplane looking wing shape thing. <laughs> How do I correct for this? Oh, you know what we can do? We could just try to flatten it. Ooh. Yeah, it looks okay. <clears throat> just trying to make this as much as that one. Anyway, now you want to record. Yeah, I have. Okay, so you want to measure about two point five centimeter from from the leftover piece to here. Okay, so got the leftover piece, fold it in half, and then measure two point five centimeters and uh, mark it. And you want to cut a straight line like so. And don't throw this, we're gonna use it. Now fold the other side to the middle in half. Like that. And do the same with the other side. Half, you should get a little thick strip of paper. Okay, so you wanna <laughs> you wanna insert this between the two two flaps here, not under under not under this, but just two flaps, like so. And then <clears throat> you wanna get two strips of tape and tape it down. So make sure it's as long as that. It's close enough. Okay, make it make sure it's centered properly. This also okay good. Okay, 
tape it one side down, like so. It's not taped yet, I'm just going to show you. Go, there we go. Tape that down. If you have access, access tape right here, just fold it down. Or if you're a perfectionist, you could just cut it off. Do the same with the other side. Except the trick on the other side here is before you um, tape it down, you want to make sure the wing is bent up a little bit. So make sure it's bent up, then you can tape it down. Because when you see airplane wing slide, they don't, they're not straight, are they? They're a little bit up like this. This looks cool as hell already. Yep, so, what's the time? Um, it's just nine minutes. Oh my god. Okay, let me stop this, and then I'll re-record it. Okay, we're back, so let's continue our wings here. <coughs> so we take this piece, and then fold this line to this line. So, just like this. There we go. Then just make a fold like that. Now again, you can see there's a little axis here and here. If you're, if you're a perfectionist, just trim those away, but I'm too lazy. Do the same with the other one. Um, so this side you fold like this, and this side you fold like this. It's not the same way. It's going to be the opposite. So yeah, just fold it. Tape here, and my wing is not. Very secure, it's alright. <clears throat> okay, so you got this one. Okay. You want to pull out tape as long as the leading edge here. Not at the back, but the leading edge. Get the tape. Try to get it as close as I can. There we go. <clears throat> And now we're gonna tape it like this. So we're gonna tape the tape at the <laughs> we're gonna tape the tape at the bottom of the wing. But the key is to leave a little space for the leading edge. So like like so you can see I've left a little space. I think this is not even enough. But that's alright. Just have to be that kind of perfect. Oh, actually, it's enough. And then we're gonna do the same with the other side. So, good tape. Pull it out. That voice is getting really weird now. Okay, a little bit of excess tape. Noise me a little bit and just tape it and remember to leave a little space. If you want to know why I told you to leave that little space, uh, well, you could try finding it out for yourself. <laughs> I mean, I found it out the hard way. Okay, so. Here's, here we're gonna, so put the flap, the other one down, and then the other one on top. Now you left, you've left with the upper flaps. Again, put this one down, and then this one. Okay? Then use something to hold on to it. Like, so, <laughs> like a <clears throat> pencil sharpener. Now we're gonna 
flap. Tape it as long as this flap. And then, yeah, you see, it all comes out. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> now we're, oh my god, this tape. Stop it. Okay, now we're gonna tip it down like so. It's not really perfect. Ugh. Yep, just like that. You can see there's a little there's little air bubbles in there. Try to get rid of them. So we just like the other one, push down here, and you can twist as you go along. Yep. And do the same with the other side, except it's going to be longer because um, this one is tucked under the top one. So a little bit longer, not too much. And just, um, you know, tape on it. Like so. You can just push down like this to the middle, and then when you get the outside, you're gonna twist. That looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay. And now comes the fun part. Now I'll get rid of this on my computer. So with that I raged off a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. The AutoCAD file. So I'm gonna um snip the picture for you, so I have this design from Airbus, a brief design. So, yeah, basically, I'll just snip this winglet for you, which I've already did. Where is it? Um, it is somewhere. There it is. Okay, so there it is. Now, what you want to do is take the take the wing like that and just try to adjust the picture so that it's um, as big as your wing so that's that's about right so now what you want to do is take a paper put your screen to full brightness and then trace this out so I'm gonna be back when it's done because my can't trace one I can't trace with one hand, so be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, my wings here. Yep. And I've got the winglets traced on my paper my cardboard paper. I forgot to address that. This is cardboard, the one that we said um before the video started. So yep. Uh looks kinda neat. Now we're gonna cut it off. You only have to trace one because after you cut it off, you can just make it an outline of it. Start cutting it. Like so. That went pretty good. Okay, so now before we do anything, we're gonna put it on the cardboard again and start tracing to make it for the other wing. Yep. And you just cut it again. <laughs>
Ooh. Okay, so now what we want to do is make sure that it's yeah, there's a little there's a little bit coming off there. If you have that, make a line on it. So and then just chop it off with a skisser. Like so now remember when you're doing this, you want to have, you're not going to attach it like this, you're going to make some space for it so the tape can, can uh, hang on it. See, that looks not too shabby. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, bend the winglets up like the real aircraft. So, start bending it. Recording? Yep. I always keep wondering that. <laughs> Bending. It looks like this. Yep. Looks pretty cool. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a piece of tape and just make it as big as the base of the winglet. About like so. Tape it like this. And then get your wing. Oh, oh, crud. Yep, like this. <laughs> get your wing. Remember to make a little space. So the entire winglet is it's not hanging off the wing. Okay. So until it looks, okay, that doesn't look too good right there. So, yep, that looks good. Tape it on. Then you're gonna have some excess tape. The front one you can just fold it up. You don't need to cut it. But the back one, you yeah, you need to cut the back one. You can see I also have a little mistake right there. Just cut it off so it doesn't look bad. Okay, right, now we're gonna do, we're gonna take the top part. Make sure it's this big, not too big, not too small. What girls would say. Tape it right there. Fold the excess one over in the front. Kind of acts as an airfoil for us. But at this one at the back, you can you can actually fold it, but it's gonna ruin the airfoil. So cut it off like that. And oh my goodness, that looks amazing. That looks so good. Just look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That looks awesome. Uh, hopefully that's gonna get rid of some uh, vortex drag. Is that what you call it? <laughs> oh, that looks good though. So a few tweaking can be done. If it doesn't look that straight, then you could just your hand to bend it, it's cardboard. Normal paper would just collapse down. This is why I use cardboard. Hang on, there's a little tape at the front here. There we go. And basically just do the same for the other side. Take this, and I know it's not gonna be perfect, so cut it off like the other one. It looks good. Looks good to me. Okay. Start bending it. Yep. 
That looks good. Looks good to me. Okay. Keep the um what do you call it? The under side first. <coughs> like so. Oh yeah, this one is nearly perfect. Okay, what if you have an immediate angle difference, you could just cut between them and then fold one down first and then fold the other. If you fold both at once, then um, oh, your airplane's gonna look ugly. Cut this off. The back of this one actually went uh, really perfectly. And I guess that's the end of this modification. Um, yeah, you can just fly good. You can start tweaking the wings a bit. I'm going to show that soon. So, yep, see you at my flight test area. This is my flight test area. Um, a big grass field. Not that big. But it'll do the job. Got the, the wing here. And uh, this is throw. That was not bad at all. That was pretty good. <coughs> And yep, my throat is tying on me. Okay, hang on. Don't just chuck it away. Yeah, when it gets low on speed, it kind of turn left. I don't know why. I think it's caused to that, to that um, too much twist. Um. Again. Yeah, the left wing has too much twist, so when you make it, make sure it, the wing is balanced, the twist is um, equal. <coughs> My throat. Ah, I feel like it's gonna fall off. Like so. Yep. Again, this is, bear in mind, this is the simple version. I'm going to make the intermediate version, and it's kind of like um, Mini Mike's uh, modification to the original one, which is just putting uh, strips of paper to reinforce the paper to make it stronger. Now I'm throwing it with my left hand, it's going to end badly. Ooh, not that bad. If you have something like, if you have a wing where it twists too much, you could cheat and try to apply some aileron. So kind of bend this wing down. Let's see if I can do that. Just kind of bend it down so it's like an aileron on an airplane's wing. Like so. So it works. Oh, that's my left hand again. It kind of worked. It's not that good, but it kind of worked. <laughs> Let me try that again with my right hand this time. Yeah, that actually worked a bit. It's not turning too much right. You correct that. Okay. So, I guess that's... Um, and be the end of this video again. Original designer is Mini Mike TRX. Go check out his channel. He's awesome. Uh, he makes the uh, he posted one of these uh, tutorials about. He posted the first tutorial about five years ago, 
and I watched it like literally a week after he posted it. I remember making these. <laughs> my friend, my friend would say, "Dude, how'd you make it?" And I just showed him how to make it. It's really cool. Um, build the original one first, or actually build the proto one first because that's going to be easiest. But if you're good at paper airplane, uh, uh, just you can just build the A350 right away. So yeah, again credit goes to Mini Mike TRX. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.